I wasn't expecting to see you here so late. Do you already need help with your homework this semester? No? Come inside, what's up? Are you having a bad day? No, don't be sorry. I'm glad you came. I told you before, I'm here for you when you need me, and this is a safe space for you. You can come here whenever you want. Go sit down, I'll bring you some tea. Let's turn that off. Here. You need a fuzzy blanket too if you've had a bad day. It's the rules. <laughs> so... Do you want to talk about it, or do you just want to have some quiet time? It's okay if you don't know how you're feeling or what you need right now. Sure, I feel like that a lot too. Definitely. Why do you think I have all this stuff? Some people make fun of me for it and think it's weird, but... I make safe spaces. It's what I do. Life is hard and the world sucks sometimes, so why should I feel bad about having comfy blankets and tea and lights and music to come home to? <laughs> it makes me happier. Or at least less sad sometimes. <laughs> well, being sad in a cute space is a lot better than being sad in a sad space. It doesn't necessarily make everything better, but it's nice to at least have a soft place to land when I need time to not be okay. Yeah, I don't think it's realistic to always just jump into trying to make yourself feel better. That's not fair to you. That's not how emotions work. You can't just tell yourself to stop being upset or get over something or look on the bright side and expect it to work right away. Sometimes I just need time to be sad. Stay in bed, cry, even. <sighs> yeah, I, I do. But the important part is knowing when it's time to get out of bed and do the hard stuff. We can't just give up, but we can take breaks. So if you need a break tonight, let's take a break. What do you think you want to do? Well, is there anything you usually do that's helpful when you feel bad? The last time you were here. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, we could, um, we can do that again. No, actually, it sounds, um, really nice. If you're done with your tea, we can get comfy. Is that good? Here, you can come lay on me again. Yeah, yeah, it feels nice to have your weight on me. Don't even worry about it. I mean it. Don't apologize. I'm happy to help. If I didn't feel like I could handle this, then I would tell you. I promise. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Next time I'm having a bad day, I'm calling you. And then it'll be your turn to get squished. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're not squishing me. Don't go. Mm. <sighs> My bad days? Hmm. They're usually when I feel like... I don't know. 
can be a lot of feelings, thoughts. Sometimes I just feel bad about myself, like I'm always doing something wrong or making a mistake, especially when it feels like everyone else has things figured out. Sometimes everything just feels overwhelming and I don't know how I'm going to get through it. Sometimes I just want to give up. Like, stop trying so hard to take care of myself or be nice to everyone. Sometimes I feel like, what's the point in trying? Well, when that happens, I try not to react too quickly. I try to remember that I won't feel this way forever, so I shouldn't rush into quitting or giving up or getting too upset. I take a break, like this. I don't push my emotions away or get mad at them. It's hard, but I just let myself feel whatever I'm feeling. I let myself be sad or angry or scared because I know I know I won't feel that way forever. I'm I'm okay with being in a bad place for a little while because I know that when I'm ready I'll get myself to a better place. With practice you you get better at knowing when you're ready to do something else. Like, like telling myself it's going to be okay or changing whatever I can to make a situation better, face a fear, or even just get some distance from whatever's stressing me out. Not running away from it, but just knowing when I'm doing too much and it's hurting me. It's, it's hard to explain. It takes practice and it's something I had to learn and really, really work on. I'm still not perfect at it, but I'm better than I used to be. I think you've already started doing that. Yeah. You asked for help when you needed it. That's a big deal. Admitting we need support isn't something we're really taught or encouraged to do. It's scary, but you did it. That's, that's really great progress. You cared enough about yourself to do something loving instead of just getting mad at yourself or being embarrassed of feeling bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were mad at yourself at first. But you're not now, right? No. Now you're letting yourself rest. You're letting yourself feel. And tomorrow you can ask yourself what you need next. Maybe it'll be more rest or... Maybe you'll be ready to take action and make a change. Or even just do something else that's nice for yourself. It's okay to not have all the answers right now. For now, for now, you're safe. And you don't have to go through this alone. We can stay here until morning. We can keep talking or just lay here. I'm fine with either. Just tell me what you think is best. <laughs> Sleep. <sighs> Sleep does sound good, too.